everybody, it's great to see you again. I'm here with Tom the turkey and we want to make some fun craft projects today that have to do with Thanksgiving turkeys. Since we don't want to eat Tom, we thought we could make some fun turkeys and give Tom some ideas for disguising himself so that he doesn't end up on your Thanksgiving Day table. So what we did is we found a template of a turkey that we could decorate. And on the first one, we made a clown shape or made a clown out of the turkey. We just used some markers and some glitter, some pom-poms, um, some crayons, some buttons, um, and just kind of made him look like a, like a turkey clown. And then on this one, we dressed Tom up like a ballerina. And here we just used a little bit of scrap fabric for the skirt, for the tutu and the, the shoes. And we used some jewels for the um, crown that he's wearing here. And we just used crayons to fill in um, the rest of the outfit. So if you come down to the Herb Memorial Library, we have these templates all ready for you to pick up and you can decorate your turkey any way that you like. Use your imagination. You can make him into an astronaut or a pirate. You can make him into a chef or maybe a school teacher or maybe uh, in the military, you can make him a ninja. You could make him um, anything you want him to be. You could even make him like a horse or a cow or a sheep or a pig or anything other farm animals like in our story turkey trouble today so have fun creating that and if you can't make it down to the library you can go online and find all kinds of templates of turkeys and print one off yourself and do that if you can't make it in the other fun craft that we have at the library for you this week in honor of all things turkey is to make a paper bag puppet turkey and here's this and i'm going to demonstrate how to make this project in this video today and this is a fun turkey to make, and he is an actual working puppet. You can put your hand up inside the paper bag and use him to talk about all things that he's thankful for this Thanksgiving. So that's kind of a fun project for kids to make, and it's really easy for young children to do. At the library, we've gone ahead and prepared a kit for you that has got a rainbow of turkey feathers. It also comes with a beak, a waddle, a couple eyes, the paper bag, and of course the heart that you will need to create this. But again, if you can't make it into the library to pick up this craft kit, um, you're going to need a paper bag, then you're going to need some construction paper to cut out kind of an oblong pointy ended oval shape. You're going to want to have at least six of them. You can use them in the same colors or in different colors. We chose a rainbow of colors, but you know, if you wanted to do traditional, you could just do red, orange, and yellow, or maybe get some brown in there. Um, to go ahead and do that and then you'll need to cut out a triangle for a beak and your waddle and your heart and of course you're going to need your eyes so once you have all your pieces assembled this is really easy to put together you want to take your paper bag and you want to make sure you flip it over so that the bottom part of it is on top because otherwise you won't be able to have your turkey you know talk and use its head motions so you want to be working with this side of it and the first thing you want to do is lay out your feathers in a pattern. Now I chose to go with a rainbow, so we'll go with the Roy G. Biv, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and indigo. We don't we can't do the V because I don't have violet. But that's how we're gonna lay ours out. And then you're gonna take your glue and you want to on the back side of the, the bag, well it'll be the, the front side of the bag, but since we're using this as the front of our bag here, flip it over and put your glue here on the back top of it. You don't want to go too deep because then your feathers won't pop up above and around. And when you have a nice layer there, then you can just lay your feathers around. And you know, just kind of get them so they all kind of pop up and pop out. And like this. And I'm gonna need a little bit more glue here for our last one. So they all kind of lay there and then turn them on over and it should look like a nice rainbow of feathers. And you can adjust it any way you like. And then the next thing you need to do is glue on your eyes. And if you don't have googly eyes, you can always cut out white circles of paper and then smaller circles of black paper put inside of them and create your own eyes that way or of course you can always just draw your eyes on with markers you don't have to use googly eyes if you don't want to 
we just have googly eyes and like to use them. So there is that. And then you want to put your beak on. You want to lay your triangle so that um, one of the points is facing down for his beak. And you're just going to want to run a bead of glue along the top line here. Because if you put glue over the whole beak and then lay it down over the fold, it'll stick to the bottom of the bag here too. And then you won't be able to have your turkey talk. So you just want to lay that like so. And your turkey waddle, he's going to need a little bit of glue on both sides here because we're going to tuck him just under the beak. Just like so. See how simple that was? So then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take your heart and you have a couple options here. On our sample one, we just wrote the word thankful. And you can do that. Or you can actually write something that you're thankful for. Maybe you're thankful for your family. Maybe you're thankful for turkeys. Maybe you're thankful for your toys or your books or uh, a movie that you like. Maybe you're thankful for your, your pet, your dog or your cat. Or maybe you're thankful for your, your grandparents or your parents or your siblings, your best friend. You could write any of that stuff down on your heart. But just write what you're thankful for. Again, on this one, we're just going to write thankful. I'm thankful for a lot of things. I would need a really big heart to write all the things that I am thankful for. And then you just want to put some glue on the back of your heart. And glue it right here in the center of your turkey's tummy. Now, if you would like, you can also cut out some orange feet to hang off the bottom of your turkey bag. I have seen some crafts that have done that also. I chose not to do that for ours because I think that if you play with it as a puppet, that those feet will tear and rip um, from the overuse. But if you want to just use it for a display, you could certainly cut out some orange feet and put them on the bottom of the bag as well. So I hope you enjoyed our crafts today. I hope you have fun making your paper bag puppet turkey. And I really would love to see how creative you can be with your templates. So if you want to go ahead and take pictures and email them to us at the library at her at herlibrary.org, that'd be great. Or just bring them in and we can even hang them up on our wall if you'd like to demonstrate um, how much we are good at hiding our turkeys at Thanksgiving. All right, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving this year and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.